Hello and welcome to Enjoy English School. 欢迎来到 Enjoy 英语学院 I'm Stevie and I'm Lori. Today we are looking at our World in Pictures lesson, and well, if you have the magazine, the DVD, you're going to learn lots of vocabulary with pictures. And、uh, well, if you're just listening to us, that's great because we are going to have a wonderful little discussion about a conversation. About Western breakfast. Oh, I love Western breakfast. And the title of the conversation is "Which breakfast do you want?" Hmm. So today, we come to the section of "Understand the World." Ah, so we want to see the dialogue. The Chinese title is "Chen Jian Xiang Yan." Ah, so we see the Chinese dialogue. If it is translated, it is "The Western Breakfast." So we see the title of the section. Ah, so we see the Chinese dialogue. If it is translated, it is "The Western Breakfast." 哦，所以呢，显然我们今天的两位主角呢是要在对话里头来讨论他们的早餐要来吃什么。Looking at Part One, Howard and Lean are discussing what they should eat for breakfast today. 哇，这真的是一个非常令人开心的事情。嗯、mm, oh, ，Yeah， 就是 talking about what they should have for breakfast. <笑> Yum. <笑>所以呢 ，Howard 跟 Lin 啊、哦，这是我们的对话的设定。这两位角色呢，他们正在讨论他们今天的早餐应该要吃什么。Okay, so Howard, he's being very formal but also fun. 嗯、mm-hmm. 哼 ，because he goes, ah, what a delightful morning. This is something. You usually only hear in movies. Ah,、uh, you don't really hear people say this very often. It's very formal, but it it can be kind of cute sometimes. What a delightful morning! What a wonderful morning! 对，多么令人愉悦的早晨呐、啊！这样，所以呢，这个不不太是我们一般对话会这样讲。Yeah. 但是呢，就是故意这样讲的话，就是制造一点那种效果啦。Yeah. 嗯。And what would you normally say? Wow, today 好棒哦！ That's <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now Howard says, "Let's start the day with some breakfast." Okay, that's also very formal. Howard likes to speak in a、uh, like he's. Talking in a movie, 对， yeah. 就是 Howard 很爱演， yeah. 很喜欢演，所以这点跟 Stevie 老师一样啊， oh, <笑>很喜欢演。被发现，所以他呢继续讲的第二句也是很很电影的感觉啊。Oh, 他说：“让我们用一些早餐来展开这新的一天吧。” I'm in the mood for French toast. Mmm, yum. Mmm. French 他终于 toast. He finally, this sentence is more normal. Ah, he says, "I am in the mood for something." The time is to say, "I want to eat something." So we often see on TV commercials, "I want to eat something." I want to eat something. So you can use "in the mood for something." Ah, what he wants to eat is something French. It is called French toast. Yeah, this. You know, to be in the mood for something. You know,、um, earlier in the month we talked about being in a bad mood or being in a good mood. 对 And being in the mood for something is also another great way to use to this use word. this word.、Mm. We use this phrase a lot. 对 <laughs> <laughs> So、uh, I'm in the mood for French toast. Now I want to tell students something about toast in Taiwan. When you go to a bread store, a bakery, and you buy sliced bread, you call it toast. Toast. Yeah, but in English, that is just sliced bread. 切片的面包 Or we might call it sandwich bread. Hmm. 三明治的面包 Yeah, because it 它已经切好可以切好一片一片、yeah. 对 But toast is when you cook it. Either you put it in a a toaster and you you know, 烤那个面包 or you put it in an oven or something. But we only call it toast after it is toasted. 嗯，就是我们要称英文里头的 toast 是它被烤过以后
、yeah. 烤完的的那个面包， yeah. 我们称它为 toast。Yeah. 对，那一般我们中文讲的吐司， mm-hmm. 其实对英文来讲，就是刚刚说那个 slice 是切的意思， yeah. 是被切好的一片片的面包。或者我们讲三明治面包。Yeah. Right. So usually we'll say, "Oh, I need to get some bread at the store."、Mm. We never say, "I need to get some toast at the store." Never. We never say that. 嗯，所以这个你可以稍微区别一下， yeah. 有烤过的那个才叫 toast. Okay. So now Lean says,、huh? "French toast, huh?、Uh, I'm sorry, I have no idea what that is. I don't know what that is." 嗯，所以显然呢 ，Lin 呢，他是属于一个比较台式的啊、哦，所以呢，他说不好意思哦，我呢完全没概念，叫做 have no idea， 我完全没概念那个是什么哎啊、哦，什么叫法式吐司呢 ？And Howard says, oh, it's not complicated at all. So it's not complicated. I mean, it's not hard to make. Mm. It's not something that's hard to understand or hard to make. It's very simple. Yeah. 嗯，所以呢，首先 Howard 他就回答说，哦，法式吐司一点都不复杂 ，complicated 就是复杂的意思。所以意思他就是要讲说这个东西很简单。但是后面接着他讲了一大串，所以我觉得这两个有一点好笑。<笑><笑> also, it's obvious that they are roommates or they live together. Um, so they're speaking so. Formally to each other, it's quite funny. 对，呃、uh, ，So Howard says it's not complicated at all. It's very simple. First, you put two eggs and some milk in a bowl. So two eggs and milk in a bowl. That's easy.、Mm. But that's only the first step. <laughs> yeah, well, it, it it is easy though. <laughs> 好 ，to you. 好的，所以这边我们两个已经开始吵了哈。好，所以他首先就说第一步啊，你呢就是放两颗蛋。还有呢，一些牛奶在一个碗里面。那那个放两颗蛋的意思，当然不是连同蛋壳一起放进去。它意思就是你打两颗蛋哦，然后呢，跟一些牛奶在碗里面。Yep. Then you dip the bread in and fry it in a pan. So you dip the bread in the milk and eggs,、mm. and then fry the bread in a pan. 没错。然后呢，接着你呢？ Dip 是沾啊、哦、浸的意思啊、哦，所以呢，你把这个面包呢浸到那个蛋牛奶跟蛋液里面啊、哦，然后呢也可以说是沾啊、哦，它它是应该整个浸到里面去，然后呢在 fry 是这个煎的意思，煎这个面包呢在一个平底锅里头。Now students, they missed a step. I just want to let students know、mm-hmm. you need to mix the eggs and the milk together. 对。Because in the English it says you put them in the bowl, but you need to mix it after mix M I X. 对，这边讲的就是你把蛋打进去，牛奶也倒进碗里之后，你要把它打一打，你要把它搅拌均匀啊。Yeah. Oh. yeah. So then you dip the bread in and you fry it in a pan. Ah. Finally, cover it with butter and maple syrup, and you've got a great breakfast. So, finally, after you fried the bread,、mm. cover it. <laughs> well, cover is maybe a little bit much. Okay, cover is 把它全部盖起来 right? 盖满满 Yeah. Now that's how my little brother eats it. Really? Yes. <laughs> okay. But cover it with butter and maple syrup, and you have a great breakfast. So, it just means put butter and maple syrup on it. 没错。所以呢，最后一步了嘛，哈，所以叫 finally。最后呢，你的 cover， 我们讲 cover 是整个把它盖上去，把它就是淋满的意思哦。所以刚刚那个 C 老师才会说这有点过分，但是他的这个 brother 就是这样吃的哦。但是你也可以就是用 put 啊、哦、一些，那那个时候你就不用真的把它淋满哦。但是这里的话，他是说这个 cover it， 那个 it 指的是那个面包啊、哦。你淋满那个面包用什么呢 ？With 后面告诉你用奶油，还有呢这个呃。蜂糖浆，然后你就得到一份非常棒的早餐了。Mm-hmm. 那如果你不想要用淋满，你不想用 cover it with， 你也可以用 put some， 然后呢 on it。那这个时候你就是放一些， yeah. 不管你想放什么，然后但是是放一些在它上面，就不用淋满。Yeah， and 淋满的话 ，it it will be so fattening。那就很胖。It, it'll taste good， but um you'll notice a lot of American breakfasts。Are really kind of like Taiwanese desserts. 
<laughs> 比较像我们台湾的甜<笑>甜点是是。对 ，You know pancakes. What is a pancake? Uh, you know, 买那种的那种松饼。对对对对。Think about it. It's eggs and flour and milk with with butter and sugar on it. It's a dessert. <laughs> It's a dessert that we eat for breakfast in America. <laughs> 对， yeah. 就是一个甜点， yeah, 但是在早餐吃。早餐吃的甜点基本上。<laughs> okay, <laughs> we're gonna take a break right now, and we'll be right back with the second half of our dialogue. Okay, we are back with part two. So Howard just said, "Ooh, it's a lovely, wonderful morning. It's a delightful day. I would love to have some French toast." And then he tells everybody how to make it. Well, now Lean says, "That does sound fantastic. That sounds wonderful, amazing." But we don't have much time today. <laughs> That sounds great, but we don't have time for that. 对，所以呢 ，Lin 他听完了这整个法式吐司的做法以后，他说，嗯，这个听起来真的是很棒哦。他用了一个 fantastic， 或者是刚刚 Steve 老师帮我们换的哦 ，wonderful、amazing 都可以啊、哦。但是重点来了，我们并没有太多的时间啊、哦，就是今天我们的时间不多。Now you can tell that Lin is maybe used to eating things a little bit more healthy. Oh, okay. Because Lean says,、uh, "How about a yogurt bowl?、Mm. A yogurt bowl is a bowl with yogurt and maybe some fruit in it,、mm -hmm. or some cereal, just something you know from the store. You put it in a bowl, add milk." 对 ，How about a yogurt bowl or some cereal, something simple and fast? 对，所以呢，显然哦，我们看到 Lin 他的喜好方向是很很明显的，跟这个呃、uh, Howard 不同。他呢建议说，这个呃、uh, How about 啊、哦，所以你看提一个建议的时候 ，How about 什么什么什么，这个东西怎么样呢？如何呢？哦，所以要不要呢？我们来份这个优格碗。啊、哦，或者是一些麦片呢？所以就像刚刚 Steve 老师讲的，他的倾向是比较简单、快速， mm -hmm. 然后又比较健康的东西。Maybe cereal, maybe not. It de depends on what kind of cereal. How you do it? Yeah.、Mm. Or maybe we should just head to the breakfast shop. <laughs> Or maybe we should just go to the breakfast shop.、Mm. We've used this word, this phrase before. Head to, because when you're walking. In a hurry, you kind of put your head down a little bit. Your head goes first. 对 ，so head to a place means go to a place. 对，所以呢，他建议说，或者也许我们根本就应该要呢，就去这个早餐店就好啦。哦，所以这里的 head to， 这里的 head 不是名词的头，而是动词，那指的是前往。所以就等于刚刚斯蒂表示说的 go to 啊、哦，我们就直接去那个早餐店就好啦。Howard says, "Let's go to the shop down the street." This just means down the road, down the street. Let、mm. Let's go to that breakfast shop that's close by us, just、mm -hmm. down the street. We、mm. can walk there. Okay, so Howard 他就说了，那我们就去呢那个街底的那一家早餐店吧。哦，就是往下走哦，就会到的那那一家早餐店吧。I could really go for a cruller or some waffles. I could go for something means yeah that sounds good to me. I could eat that or I could drink that. I could go for that. So he said I could really go for a cruller. Now cruller is it's a French food, but the Taiwanese cruller would be you tell.、Mm. That would be a Taiwanese cruller. Right.、Uh, and he said some waffles. I don't know any traditional breakfast shops that have waffles, but maybe this is a special one. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, okay. So, 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 so,
或者呢，就是刚 Steve 老师讲的，我们台湾的油条其实也是一种的 cruller 啊，你可以前面加一个 Taiwanese cruller 这样子、嗯、哦，就是油条这样。那他们不管他们指的是哪一种啦哦，那或者是 Howard 又提到了这个松饼，好，所以呢，这个 Howard 就算是去早餐店，他找的东西感觉也都是很 Western 的哦，很西式。Yeah, and now I also want to mention the songbing thing, uh, because in Taiwan. Songbing could be like the kind you get at McDonald's, which we call a pancake,、mm. or it could be like when you go to some shops and they have it with ice cream or something. So you, gerds 状 gerds 状的对对 that that is, is a waffle. waffle.、Mm. Okay, so that's even though in Taiwan both of them are sometimes called songbing. 对 but one the flat one is a pancake. 其实那个我们翻译成薄煎饼 Oh, 对 ，OK. 但是很多人确实都叫它松饼 ，Yeah. 好，所以是不一样的 ，Yeah. 啊、哦， so、麦当劳那种 just, 平平的，好，那通常你会撒一点，呃，就是滴一些那个什么蜂蜜啊，或 ma ma maple syrup 啊 ，maple syrup and butter. 对、yeah. 对对，然后那种的我们可以称为薄煎饼。OK. 那我们一格一格的，然后上面你会被挤很多鲜奶油啊， yes. 或什么的，那个是松饼。Yeah,、waffle. that's a waffle. 嗯 ，OK. So now Lean says, "Ooh, that sounds good." I'm in the mood for a sandwich and some apple juice. <laughs> so he says, "Oh, that sounds good. You know, if you want a cooler and yummy, but I'm in the mood. I want a sandwich and some apple juice." Ah,、uh, so then Lin, he first talked about, "Oh, it sounds good. That I, on my side, is want to have a sandwich and some apple juice." I'm in the mood for. Ah, this is the first time this word is used. I want to have a sandwich and some apple juice. I'm in the mood for. Ah, this is the first time this word is used. I want to have a sandwich and some apple juice. I'm in the mood for. Ah, this is the first time this word is used. I would love to have some black tea. Hmm. So he says, "I, 呢，想要喝点红茶 We can do French toast some other time.、Mm. We can do French toast another day when we have time. Yeah. 对，所以他说我们呢，可以之后再找其他的时间，某个其他的时间再来做法式吐司 But it sounds like Lean wants to try it because Lean says, "Let's do that tomorrow." Since we are relatively free in the morning, when we say relatively free, that means well we have. This is a 比较比较性的 right? Compared to yeah, compared today. to today, we have more time tomorrow. So we have we are relatively free. We don't have many things to do tomorrow. 对 So let's try the French toast tomorrow. 对所以 Lin 就说了，我们明天来做嘛哦。既因为 since 既然哦，我们呢明天早上是相对比较有时间，好，所以这里的这个 relatively 是跟什么比较起来之后做一个比较之后，然后它是比较怎么样的？好，所以相对来说，我们今天啊、哦、比较没有时间，明天是相对来讲比较有空的。嗯、hmm. 嗯 ，and that is our conversation for today. So now we now I feel like eating breakfast. You do? <laughs> yeah, I want some French toast and some waffles. No,、um, thank you for joining us. Now we are going to take a quick break and come back with our words and phrases. The very first word we learned was delightful. Ah, what a delightful, lovely word, and. We learned the phrase "have no idea about something." I have no idea what that is. I don't know. We also talked about something being complicated. The opposite of that would be simple, and to cover something with something else, like in the cold winter, I like to cover myself with a blanket.、Mm. We also talked about the word "fantastic," amazing. That's what fantastic is, and we used head to to go somewhere, to head to a place, and then we used completely. I completely forgot about drinks. I completely forgot about waking up for work this morning. <laughs> I didn't forget, and 
the last word we used was relatively. We said, uh, tomorrow we are relatively free in the morning, so Lori and I are going to make French toast. No, oh, no, you are going to make it. I'm going to eat it. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's all the time we have for today. We'll see you tomorrow. or We'll see you next time, I guess. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye.